In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus NaI. That's silver nitrate plus sodium iodide. With net ionic equations, first thing we do is balance the molecular equation. And this is the molecular equation. It's already balanced, which is kind of nice. After that, we write the state for each substance. So if you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble. And little AQ, it will be aqueous dissolved in water. It'll dissociate into its ions. Sodium compounds, also very soluble. We have another nitrate compound here that's going to be soluble. But AGI, this is one you should remember. When we have these silver compounds with halogens like AGCl, AGI, that is going to be insoluble. It won't dissolve. It won't split apart into its ions in water. Because of that, we write S for solid. So these two compounds react, and we will get a solid, and that'll be a precipitate that'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. So we have our states at this point. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions, and this will give us the complete ionic equation. So silver, it's a transition metal, but it's kind of an exception. It always has a one plus charge. This whole nitrate ion has a one minus, good one to remember. So we have Ag plus, and I won't write aqueous after each one. Let's do that at the end. Plus the nitrate ion, NO3 minus. Sodium's in group one, has a one plus ionic charge, and then iodine, that has a negative charge. So we have Na plus, plus I minus. And these are the reactants. For the products, we said plus and minus, we'll have Na plus, and then that NO3 minus. And for the silver iodide, we said with net ionic equations, this is a solid here, we don't split those apart. So we just write AGI for silver iodide. And this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They don't really change, so we're not interested in them. So here in the reactants, I can see a nitrate ion and the products of nitrate ion. I'm going to cross that out. Sodium ion, sodium ion. Cross it out. What's left is the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus NaI. I'll clean this up and write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the net ionic equation for silver nitrate plus sodium iodide. You'll notice that charge is conserved. We have a positive and a negative, and we end up with a neutral compound, as well as the number and type of atoms. We have one silver, one silver, one iodine, one iodine. So everything is balanced. This is our net ionic equation for silver nitrate plus sodium iodide. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.